So the final race then of this season's Cheltenham Festival is the newly named Leon van Rensburg Cup. It's a four and a half mile grade one race and the top one is Zelda Manana for Darren Thompson. Surf for Leon van Rensburg, Sandekan, Molliet Surfer, Monson, Alex Cherry, Great Matt Graham, Clutterbuck, Grainer Moore, Darren Howes, Fast Boy, David Robertson, Arkaleo, Obi Wan, The Mighty Eight, Joshua Sutherland, Smart Castle, Ghost Zappa, Olivia Grace, Darren Howes, Eck here, Alex Cherry, and Eastbrook Jane, Ghost Zappa. So, plenty of drawing throughout the entire festival. What are we going to get in this last race? As they're called in and away, and they've got three circuits to go. Eastbrook Jane is in the lead with Arkaleo in second and Gold Cup winning trainer Joshua Sutherland has his horse in third, the Mighty Eight. Then comes Surf on the inside for the man the race is named after. Anybody, uh, they come down to the first. Oh, it's a faller at the very first fence. It's Arkaleo's gone. So Arkaleo is out of the race then and been a bad look for Obi-Wan Serious Chill. He's had a winner already this week, so it's probably one more than expected to get as they take the water. And they haul safely over that one and race away towards the next end with Eastbrook Jane in the lead. Uh, stable companion Smart Castle in third. This is a race that John Morgan usually does well in. There's a faller there, it's Sandercan gone, so that's Molliet Server's horse out. So two fallers then early on as they take the fourth. I suppose the silver line into that black cloud for those two is that their weight won't go up. They're going to be running in the Grand National next week. Um, Eastbrook Jane and Smarts Castle then. The two John Morgan horses in the lead trying to give him some compensation for the disappointment of his Gold Cup horse crashing out when in the lead. As they come down to this ditch and they get over that one okay. With Great Mac in third. The Mighty Eight in fourth. Surf in fifth for the man that the race is named after. Some of you watching this might not realise quite how many things that Leon does in the background. He's the one that makes sure all the website thing works properly and all the right horses can get in all the right races. So, pretty important job that he does there and doesn't make a big fuss about it at all either. So, good that he's got this big race named after him as they come down towards the next end. And Eastbrook Jane and Smarts Castle are in the lead as they skip over that one. From Great Mac in third. In comes the Mighty Eight and Surf. Fast Boy after that one. Fast Boy, of course, was that good winner last week. He missed the break and ran out of the race and then came through like an absolute train and ended up winning by a mile. So, I'm sure, David Robertson will be hoping that he can get a repeat performance of that today. As they take the next with Grain Amore and Olivia Grace, the two Darren House horses, the ones at the back of the field so John Morgan's got a 1-2 and Darren Howes has got a back 2 as they make their way into the straight then they've still got two more complete circuits to go remember it's time to take the dog for a walk make a cup of tea or something before the race finishes you don't want to watch it all at least Brooke Jane's in front from Smart's Castle in second Great Mac is third the Mighty Eight is fourth as they come to the next a bit of a mistake there by the First to the John Morgan horses, Eastbrook Jane, who's now dropped back into second. And Smarts Castle is now the leader as they take this next one. That'll be the last in another two circuits time. And Eastbrook Jane and Smarts Castle. Then. So one complete circuit done, two more to do. And we lost two on the first circuit. Smarts Castle and Eastbrook Jane then disputing the lead together. That's great Mac. About two lengths back in third in, in third. And another couple of lengths back to Fast Boy. And the Mighty Eight and Surf. With Zelda Manana and Monson. Then Olivia Grace getting a bit closer. As they take that one. Eck here is next. And then Grain Amore is the back marker. So coming down towards the water then. For the second time. they all go. Grain and Moore just getting a little bit detached at the back. The pace is sensible. And Smarts Castle is the one that's setting it now with Eastbrook Jane on the inside. 
in Great Mac as they take that ditch. And over that they go, another slow jump at the back by Grainer Moore. I was beginning to struggle. And it's Smart's Castle and Eastbrook Jane. Out of this plain one then in the lead. Over that one they all go. Grainer Moore about eight lengths adrift now. Smart's Castle and Eastbrook Jane. All sharing the lead. Great Mac seems to be going well in third. Fast boy. Close up in fourth, and the mighty eight and surface to take this big ditch. And over that one they all go, including Grainer Moore at the back and the loose horse as well. Down to the next they go then. And over that one. It's in downhill now. Smarts Castle and Eastbrook Jane from Great Mac. Fast boy, as they come towards this next one, you can see they're coming up to it then from a distance now, we can see them. And Smarts, Castle and Eastbrook, Jane land together. There's a fall up, something's gone there, and the mighty eight's gone, so the gold cup winning trainer Joshua Sutherland is not going to add to his Cheltenham tally in this race, or again this season, because this is the final race of the festival of course. But I'm sure if he'd have said to him at the beginning that he'd get a few winners and win the gold cup, he probably would have took it. As they take the next then, Grainer Moore still chugging round at the back. Still an awful long way to go though, and remember what's happened a couple of times this week. Horses that have looked to be totally out of it have run on again in the final mile or so. So it's Eastbrook, Jane and Smart's Castle from Great Mac in third, Fast Boy in fourth, Surf is fifth, Olivia Grace is sixth, then Monson is seven, and Zelena Manana is eight. Then comes Eck here, and then Grainer Moore is after that one. Race into the straight again already. That second circuit didn't seem to take as long as the first one as they skip over what will be their second last next time round. And it's Smarts Castle and Eastbrook Jane. Over this fence, it'll be the last next time. They're all over that one, including Grain and more, I think. So we can get a look from the stand. See them race away then. So just one more circuit of Presbury Park for this season's Cheltenham Festival. You see the loose horse has spotted the stables and he's on his way home. Smarts Castle and Eastbrook Jane then will lead them out onto this final circuit. Great Mac is third. Fast Boys moved into fourth. Then Surf. Then Olivia Grace. Then Zelada Manana and Monson. And then Eck here. And Grainer Moore still toiling away at the back but not giving up the ghost as they come down to the next. And over that one they all go. All over it okay, including the back marker. Smarts Castle and Eastbrook Jane. Still virtually together. Smarts Castle probably about a length up and as they come into the water for the final time. Ooh, safely over the water. With Smarts Castle and Eastbrook Jane then. The field beginning to close on them now though. With Great Mac and Fast Boy and then Surf and then Olivia Grace. They come down to this ditch. All over that one okay as well. A slow jump at the back by Grainer Moore, but he's still going. Smarts Castle and Eastbrook Jane, fast boy. Coming around the other, there's a four of their surfs gone, so Leon van Rensburg is not going to win his own race. And it's Smarts Castle and Eastbrook Jane with fast boy on the outside in third. Then comes Great Mac, then comes Olivia Grace, then Zenade Manana, Monster and Eck here. Grainer Moore out of shot, but still running. Down towards this big ditch they go then. And over that one, there's another fall, there's another one gone. It's Great Mac gone this time. So, the fallers are coming thick and fast now then in this race. And it's Eastbrook, Jane and Smart's Castle. From Fast Boy and Olivia Grace, one by one. The challenges are disappearing to these two John Morgan horses. And it's now Smart's Castle in the lead, Eastbrook, Jane second. Here comes Fast Boy and Olivia Grace. Then a little bit of a gap back to Monson and Zelade Manana. They're about the only ones that can win. Eck here and Grainer Moore trying to run on. But it's Smart's Castle and Eastbrook, Jane. Smart's Castle. Eastbrook Jane down towards the fourth last fence then. Over it they go. In third place is Olivia Grace. Then comes Fast Boy. Eck here is now starting to run on into fifth. But it's Smarts Castle on the outside. Eastbrook Jane on the near side. Then comes Olivia Grace. Then comes Fast Boy. Eck here is the one that's coming down and finishing with a little bit of gusto as they come down towards the third from home. Eastbrook Jane, Smarts Castle. And this time Smarts Castle jumped it best and gets away from it well. Smarts Castle by a length and a half to Eastbrook Jane in second. Olivia Grace is third, Fast Boy looks beating him fourth, Eki is still trying to run on, so Zilla 
Manana. They're racing down towards the straight. They've still got three furlongs to race and they've still got two more fences to jump. And it's Smart Castle from Stable Companion. Eastbrook Jane in second. Fast Boy third. Then comes Eck here and Olivia Grace. After that one's in today, Manana. It's these two. John Morgan horses then racing down towards the second last fence. Smart Castle is in the lead. Smart Castle gets over it well. Eastbrook Jane jumps in one in second. These two are clear. John Morgan's going to win this. If they both jump the last, if one of them jumps the last, John Morgan's going to win it. It's Smart Castle in the lead. Over the last thing, and Smart Castle jumps it well. So does Eastbrook Jane. Smart Castle from Eastbrook Jane. Smart Castle still a length clear. Eastbrook Jane's trying to close there. Well inside the final furlong. Smart Castle looks the stronger. Eastbrook Jane trying to throw down one last challenge. But it's Smart Castle. Eastbrook Jane is lunging on the outside. And Eastbrook Jane is beginning to get up. And as they race towards the line, Eastbrook Jane has stolen it from Smart Castle. Eastbrook Jane wins the Leon Van Rensburg Cup. Smart Castle is second. Fast Boy third. Eck here fourth. Olivia Grace was next. Then Zelda Manana, Monson and Grainer more got round in the end. And what an end to the festival with Ghost Zapper. John Morgan beating himself on the line with East Brook Chain getting up to deprive Smart Castle of the victory. Fast Boy was third for David Robertson. Eck here for Alex Cherry was fourth. That's run an absolute blinder. Olivia Grace was fifth for Darren Howes. That's your Cheltenham Festival. We're going over to Stu at New Toxeter for the Midlands Grand National.